I'm here at Martin Luther King Park, uh, where there has been a rally. It lasted a couple of hours. It's just now uh, breaking up. Unlike what happened in Dallas, this has been an incredibly peaceful rally. Uh, people here talking about the importance of ending violence, both against blacks and also against police. But it is a different feeling for police officers in the city. In fact, they are on alert. Here's why. How many of you guys will be coming here today to sort of act as buffers? About, about 40. About yeah. 40, 40 of 50. you. Yeah. 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 And you physically create this this line between the community, the protesters, and the police. Just make peace yeah. for the most part. A sign of just how damaged the relationship has been between police and the black community in Buffalo. These two men are part of a team of six organizations that come to rallies like this one to act as human shields. Now we get beat up by community groups. You get beat up by community groups? Yes. As far as the wording, why you guys are doing this, why you being a buffer, uh, we just let them know we love our community. We, we're making sure that you don't tear up our community and be respectful to each other's views. It's scary. It really is. One retired Buffalo police officer I spoke to on FaceTime from a memorial golf tournament for a former colleague tells me it was scary to put on a blue uniform when he was on the job. Now it's at an entirely new threat level. I got to tell you, with everything happening, it's scary. It's very scary uh, uh, to see the uh, young officers coming on the job now. Uh, the mindset that they have uh, is, oh my God, you know, uh, maybe I should step back. Maybe I should not do anything. Uh, I'm afraid to do this. I'm afraid to do that. In fact, Buffalo police have been told today to travel in pairs, to carry their guns even when they're off duty, and not to wear police insignia when they aren't at work because of what they say are credible social media threats against local officers. There are people today saying this is now war. This is civil war. Do you believe that? No. No. It's just a bunch of idiot, idiots wanting to be radical. Sally is 80 years old. She's lived in this house for 50 years, long enough to remember the race riots here in Buffalo back in 1967. I remember how they were going out rioting and looting and everything, but our, our street, they went down it, but they didn't do anything. And so when you reflect on what happened 49 years ago in this city and then what's happening now. This is worse. Now you have more of these kids with guns and like that. All of that didn't happen before. There was they weren't killing and shooting people. This is worse. This is this is terrible. Responding to the needs of the people, that's the sign on the T-shirt of the Buffalo Peacemakers, the folks that are here, uh, they come to all rallies like this. In fact, it's because of these folks uh, that police are not here, no matter where you look at the last couple of hours uh, during this rally, which was very peaceful. Uh, we haven't seen one police officer. It's because the, this organization, a group of about six different uh, community organizers, gets together uh, to be sort of an extension of police so that police are not in the space of protesters.